Dear designers, whenever you are working on a tight deadline, which is almost always, you may not have the time to decide on color palettes, fonts, icons, and mockups for your design projects. What if there were websites with pre-designed templates that you can use to save your time and effort? And I'm not talking about the freely available so-called templates that are just a Google search away. I'm talking about real resources here. But the question is where to get these design resources and more importantly, for free. In this video, I'm going to give you 20 25 extremely powerful design resources that you can use to upskill yourself as not only a UX designer, but also that'll make you an all-rounded designer. These resources will not only help you streamline your workflow, but will also help you to automate your repetitive tasks and create exceptional user experiences. When I started my design journey, I didn't know about any of them, but over time, I learned more and more about these resources and have bundled them all together for you. From websites and plugins to extensions and tools, I have listed everything you will need to excel and stand out as a designer in 2024. So without wasting much time, let's jump right into this. Let's start with UX myths. This website debunks common myths and misconceptions about UX design, providing research and expert opinions to support their claims. It's a very minimalistic website, having all the myths listed on this one page. As of now, they have covered 34 myths. You can click on any one of them, check out what the myth is all about and what the truth is. By doing this, you will learn to avoid common design mistakes and improve your decision making. Next, we have laws of UX. Basically, design laws are based on how people perceive and interact with the world around them. This website is a collection of the best practices that you as a designer can consider when building a user interface and can help you create user-centric designs that are intuitive and easy to use. Next, we have Design Hacks. It's a massive library to find all the best and the vital design tools and resources. Here, you will get to see the collection of design references from real-life products for your design inspiration. Learning resources, Figma plugins, design tools, asset library, everything is here for your design related tasks. Next, we have App Fuel. It gives you the playbook to build successful mobile apps by providing user flows, library of app screens and keeping you updated on the latest trends and app news. User flows help you to understand how the apps attract, retain and monetize their users, while app screens help you get UI inspiration. App Fuel also has UX case studies for you, which offer a look at how experienced designers tackle real world problems. Next, UX Archive. It's another repository dedicated for mobile UX and UI inspiration. And it's absolutely free and lets you study multiple popular flows executed in apps from all around the world. On the left side, you can choose any of these flows and see how these flows are being executed in successful apps. Once you create an account, choose a flow and then select an app. If needed, you can actually request the website to email you all the assets so you can use these screenshots on your own research. Next, we have Growth design. It's one of my personal favorite. When you land on this website, you will get to see this page asking for your email details. But what you need to focus on is this header section. Click on case studies and you will see 50 of them described with comic elements on the left side. You can see how these case studies are categorized in different sections. You can choose whichever case study you want to see. Then again, in the header section, when you click on psychology tab, you will be provided with 106 cognitive biases and principles that can help you understand the psychology of design. Next, design resource on our list is UX tools. Here you will get practical UX challenges often involve applying the design thinking process to real world scenarios. This helps you practice user research, testing and iterative design, refining your overall design thinking methodology. Then they have design tools database, which is a collection of information about design tools. Here you can compare and contrast different design tools to see the pros and cons of different tools to choose the best one that fits your need. Next we have fuel or FFUL, however you want to pronounce it. It's a collection of color tools and free SVG generators for gradients, patterns, textures, shape and backgrounds. The SVG and graphic creation tools on Fuel allows you to easily customize the final results so that the generated graphics are unique and fit with the rest of your design seamlessly. Next, we have good mockups. You will literally get tired while exploring the mockups they have on this website. And the best thing is that they are available for free to use. On the right side, you will see the list of mockups categorized by the objects like business cards, stationery, billboard, etc. This website can be especially helpful for complex design or for projects where there's a limited time for your design development. All right, our next resource is stick PNG. Here you will get all sorts of PNG images in video 
various shapes, size, and categories. For UI designers, PNG images can be a valuable asset which offers a number of benefits that can improve the overall user experience. They are especially useful for creating the hero section of a website, UI cards, and various other marketing sections of a landing page. Enough about websites, now let's talk about some design tools. Starting with Figma, it's like the digital whiteboard where everyone can contribute ideas and refine them together, leading to faster and more efficient design tasks. Here you can quickly create realistic user flows and test them before going into the details. Plus, Figma integrates seamlessly with developer tools, making handoffs a seamless and stress-free process. Of course, Figma is also the most popular design tool anyone uses in the world today. It's industry-grade tool used for designing interfaces. Next, we have Balsamic, which excels in creating low-fidelity wireframes and prototypes, focusing on functionality and user flow before diving into visual details. Its pre-built components and drag-and-drop interface accelerates your ideation process, allowing you to quickly test and refine ideas. The best thing is it can be used by anyone and everyone who is not even a designer, for example, product managers, engineers, and other people involved in your design process. The next tool is Just In Mind. It's a great tool to create interactive prototypes with rich functionality, including branching logic, animation, and dynamic content. Its storyboard feature helps you visualize user journeys and interactions effectively, improving narrative and flow. Additionally, Just In Mind also offers built-in accessibility features and reports, allowing designers like you to ensure your prototypes are inclusive and usable for everyone. Okay, the next one is Framer, which empowers you with the ability to code interactive prototypes, giving you more control over the user experience. Its extensive library of reusable components and code snippets facilitates faster prototyping and design consistency. More than that, Framer bridges the gap between design and development, enabling designers to create prototypes that developers can understand and implement easily. In addition to all of that, in today's world, Framer is also one of the most preferred way of creating websites. So you can not just create prototypes, but also fully functional websites that you can launch and have it on the internet. Next, we have Adobe XD, which seamlessly integrates with other creative cloud tools like Photoshop and Illustrator, offering you a comprehensive design workflow. Its unique voice prototyping feature allows designers to quickly create prototypes based on spoken commands, saving time and effort. Plus, Adobe BXD supports designing for various platforms like web, mobile, and desktop, ensuring consistency across different user experiences. Now, let's discuss some Figma plugins. As we have discussed that Figma is a powerful tool on its own, but its capabilities can be further extended with the help of plugins. These plugins are designed to automate repetitive tasks and add new features and integrate with other tools. First one in the list is Autoflow. Creating user flows with wireframes is a crucial part of UX design process. Yes, it can be time-consuming and come especially when iterating on ideas. Autoflow addresses this need by automating the process of generating user flows and wireframes. This allows designers to rapidly iterate on designs ideas, quickly experiment with different layouts and interactions, and easily communicate their design intent to developers and product managers. Next plugin is Product Planner. Product strategy and roadmap creation are often separate from the design process, and this can lead to misalignment between design decisions and the overall product vision. Product Planner bridges this gap by integrating product strategy directly into design workflow. This allows designers to prioritize features based on user needs and business objectives, visually represent the product roadmap, and ensure that their design decisions are aligned with the overall product vision. The next Figma plugin is Responsify. With the increasing number of devices and screen sizes, designing for responsiveness is essential for creating a positive user experience. Responsify takes this guesswork out of responsive design by automatically scaling and adapting designs across different screen sizes. This allows designers to create one design that adapts to all devices, ensuring a consistent and visually appealing experience for users, regardless of their device. Similar to response Responsify, our next plugin also plays a crucial role in responsive design. Actually, breakpoints are the critical points at which a design changes its layout to adapt to different screen sizes. Managing and visually representing these breakpoints can be challenging. Our plugin Breakpoints addresses this by providing a visual representation of breakpoints within the design canvas. This allows designers to design with specific screen
screen sizes in mind, ensure consistent spacing and layouts across breakpoints, and improve the visual fidelity of their responsive designs. All right, now let's talk about some Chrome extensions that can help you in your design tasks. The first one is SVG Grabber. This extension allows you to quickly preview, copy, or download SVG from any website. This can be incredibly helpful when you need to create mockups or collect design assets. Simply install the extension, navigate to the website with the SVG you want to grab, and click on the SVG Grabber icon. The extension will then download the SVG to your computer. Our next extension is Gino. This Chrome extension helps you build design systems for React, HTML, CSS, JavaScript faster than Figma or Sketch. It eliminates the need to learn complex coding languages, making website design accessible to everyone. Next, we have Moosley. Once installed, Moosley becomes your visual hub for the latest and the most cutting edge design, UI, UX, and interactive content. It serves daily content from the major design and all inspiration sources that ensures you will never miss the next big thing in the design world. The next extension in our list is Hurio, which is a perfect tool for UX check, design, and development review, user testing, and more. It helps you make comments directly on any live website or web applications. First, you need to turn on the Hurio extension on the website, then you can make comments, pin your ideas, or report bugs. Once you're done with that, you can invite others to the same project for seamless collaboration or just share the project link with them. The next extension in our list is Color Picker by Fardos. It's a simple but effective extension for choosing and managing colors. You can pick colors from websites, save them, get matching shades and create beautiful gradients. You can also use Color Picker to generate color harmonies and view color information such as hex codes and RGB values. I'll link down all these resources in the description. Now hear me out. We all know that design resources are invaluable tools for UX designers which help them to improve their efficiency and boost their creativity. But you also need to remember that these resources are tools, not shortcuts. Use them in your regular design tasks to simplify the process. But it's equally important to develop a strong understanding of design fundamentals so that you can work on real world problems. All right, folks, that's all from my side today. If you're looking for ways to becoming a pro UI UX designer in upcoming 2024, then don't forget to check out this video of mine. And if you're interested in my design journey, you can have a look at this video where I have spoken about my journey into grabbing a high paying design job. All right, folks, that's all for today. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more such design related videos.